Hey guys, welcome to another math video. For this video, I'll be talking about complex numbers and how to add and subtract them. Okay, so basically what I already said, so let's jump right in. Okay, so um, basically when you add, you're going to add like you normally would. And for complex numbers, you're gonna treat i like a variable. <clears throat> so basically all you're doing is you're combining like terms. Okay, so let's take a look at a couple of examples. Okay, so here is our first example. We got two complex numbers. First thing we always want to do is get rid of the parentheses. So remember in order of operations, parentheses first. But since there is nothing to do with the parentheses, they can just go away. And all we do is combine like terms. So 6 and 4 are like terms. 3i and i are like terms. So we'll combine each of those. And there you go. Pretty simple. Okay, let's try another one. Okay, so same deal. Um, work inside the parentheses first. If there's nothing to do, they can go away because we're adding and subtracting. So they can just go away if we're done simplifying everything inside the parentheses. And then you just combine like terms. Pretty simple. Okay, and now subtraction, same as addition, you follow normal rules in a subtraction. Again, you treat i like a variable, and all we're doing is combining like terms. Okay, so let's take a look at a couple of examples for subtraction. Okay, so first thing we do is drop parentheses. So here, because we have a negative on the outside, it's like we're going to be distributing a negative 1 to everything in this uh set of parentheses here. So this parentheses won't change when we remove the parentheses. This set here will have opposite signs because this 4 right now is positive but we need to distribute a negative to a positive. Negative times a positive is always negative. If you haven't seen that video check it out. Integers and multiplication. Okay and then from here we just combine like terms. Pretty simple. Let's try another one. So again, same thing. We're going to distribute the negative to the second parentheses. Or as I like to tell people, if you have a negative in front of parentheses, everything after that minus sign, when you drop the parentheses, will have all the signs change. Okay, so anything positive will turn negative. Anything negative will turn positive. Okay, so we're going to drop the parentheses. So you see everything in here is negative, is positive, sorry. And because there's a minus in front of this one, everything inside, once the parentheses go away, changes sign. And then again, all we do is combine like terms. And that's it. Alright guys, so adding and subtracting complex numbers is like adding and subtracting real numbers with the difference of that i that you saw. So just remember to treat i as a variable and you should be fine because all you're doing is combining like terms. Alright guys, so if you need to go back and look at any of those examples, feel free to rewind, go back to wherever you need to get back to. Um, if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Otherwise, thanks for tuning in and I will catch you next time.